내가 Just the guitar c a b l e Baseball from Coors Field in Denver tonight, the first of this four-game weekend set between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Colorado Rockies. It's Rockies baseball next on the show. Jordan Montgomery will be on the mound for the Rocks. Dan p l e z a c what's the word on him? Hey, this guy's had a real solid season up to this point. ERA under 3.5, which is saying something in these high-scoring games we see now in the game of baseball. This guy knows how to pitch, and if he's on, he knows how to minimize the damage. He'll be fun to watch in this one. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. High chopper to third. There's one gone to begin the evening. And now for Colorado, r y m e l Tapia. He appeared as a pinch hitter in yesterday's contest. Defoe at second, Springer on at first with two down. Lifted into the air out towards center field, and the two-out threat won't pay off. The inning is over. We played an inning, still nothing, nothing. To bat for St. Louis, Mario t e r r o He bounced out last time up. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll to. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Well, boys, we take a look at the Rockies' starting play here tonight. They come and trying to bounce back from a loss last time out, but they've been in good form lately. Five and two over their last seven. Yeah, Matty. In this sport at this level, you you have to find a way to be a little bit realistic. You're not going to win every ball game, so they lost last game. Fine. Let's find a way to execute today and get on the winning side. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Waiting on it is Tapia, and that's the second out of the inning. Second set to go, and now it'll be the catcher, Gustavo Severino. They've gotten a gut punch to start this game. There's no doubt about this, but that's when you have to turn the scoreboards off. Everybody do their job, one at bat at a time. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. 
hit fairly well out towards straightaway center. Terrell is there and he has it for the first down. So here is Mario Terrell flew out last time up. Mario Let's go. Terrell. Hey, let's go, big fella. He's set. Here it comes. Grounder down the line at third. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. to stand in is Chris Taylor singled in his last at bat. Yeah, and they take another single right here. That third base coach is dying to wave his arms. I wouldn't be surprised if anything hit hard through the infield. He's going to wave them. Fly, fly, fly! They could get two. On the first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So a nice bounce back inning there after the seven spot last time around. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Cardinals are out in front, seven to nothing. First time up. Severino is off first with two away. High in the air out to center field. Center fielder on the run. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. One left for Colorado. Still 8-0. Now at the plate, Mario Terrell. The center fielder. Mario Terrell. Come on now, rip it. From the stretch, here's the pitch. No balls and a strike to count. Eight runs on 12 hits and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Hey, one time, right now, here we go. Eight. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Looked like he was going to wait him out, see if he was going to come over the heart of the plate. Well, newsflash, he is, and this hitter is going to adjust his batting gloves, and he better be ready in the box. Looking to set down the side on the strikes. Here it comes. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, get your pitch. Drive it right there. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there, really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Fouled away. And he struck him out. So a fine inning here as he strikes out the side in order. One, two, three, go the Cardinals. As it remains an eight to nothing ball game. Nothing in two pitch. 
High fly ball out to straightaway center. Two, two. Terrell is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced no to runner, retreat no back Hold. to first. Eat it. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you see there, he sits in fourth place in that department in the National League. Three. He's out. Stepping up is Mario Terrell, who went down on strikes in his last at bat. Mario Terrell. First pitch on its way. And here's a ball in the air now, carrying a bit out toward right center. There to play it is Springer, and that's out number two. So one gone for the Rockies here in the eighth, and striding into the plate next will be Rymel Tapia. Bases are empty, one man out. Come on, big guy, strike out. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Terrell is back, and he'll get there to make the play for route number two. Digging in next, Jonathan Daza, a hit in two tries for him so far. Last strike now for Colorado. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Going back is the center fielder for the track. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. So it's a solo shot to dead center. His first home run of the season as it's now down to an eight-run ball game. Wow, this is a tough one to swallow, right? You come in as a closer, and you're used to striking guys out and having one, two, three innings. And just like that, he's greeted with the bomb. Now it's time to regroup and hopefully get some out. This was just a nice win for these guys. They did most of their damage in that big second inning and did what they had to the rest of the way to secure this win. 11-3 the final score in this contest. The Cardinals get the win after banging out 16 total hits. Kwang Young Kim earned his ninth win of the year. Jordan Montgomery allowed seven earned runs to cross the plate in the losing effort. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. For the Rockies, three runs, 12 hits, one error. They left 15 men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 44 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And we remind you to please drive home safely.
Austin Gomber, a left-handed Floridian, will get the starting assignment. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, Matty, be a little bit of a mixed bag with this guy. An ERA of over four in his last three starts. He's either been really good or really bad. And recently, he's been more bad than good. It'll be interesting to see if he can turn it around and pitch better in this one here today. Now to the plate, here is Mario Terrell. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Hey, one time, right now. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Underway in the second of four here this weekend as the game's first pitch is taken for ball one. Now, boys, we take a look at the Rockies' starting play here tonight. They come in looking to turn things around as they've dropped two straight. Yeah, Matty, you can't win when, when you're giving up that many runs. The pitcher was missing over to harder to play, not executing down and away, not brushing back anybody, making oh, anyone feel that. uncomfortable. Guys were taking huge hacks off him. And to boot, the defense was on its heels. And he fouls this one off. Really starting to pour now, and the forecast is not showing any signs of a break in the weather. You know, one of the big issues is player safety, and right now this field is getting sloppy wet, Matt, and I don't know how much more rain this field can take. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Lifted in the air toward the line and right, but this will wind up being a foul ball. One time, one time. Another try at 2-2. And he takes strike three called on the fastball. Then the leadoff man is gone to start the evening. Great spot on that 2-2 fastball. You can't place it on the inside corner any better than that. And as a hitter, there's just not a whole lot you can do with that unless you're looking for it and time it just. Stepping in for the Cardinals, Mario Terrell. He went down looking in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. Hey, let it fly, baby. Hoping to limit the damage, here's the pitch. The plate, ball one. A ball and no strikes. We're in the second with the Redbirds holding a 1-0 lead. Now a ball lifted into the air. Right hard, right hard. He's going, he's going. And Springer will tuck this one in to retire the side. Cards forced to settle for one. On now to the bottom of the second. It's the Cardinals one. And the Rockies nothing. him out again the pitch this is skied into the air to straightaway center and he will get there as he had to cover a lot of ground to make that play and that ends the inning can't start any better than this he set down the first 12 on to the top of inning number five we go it's the Cardinals one and the Rockies nothing box Mario Terrell he flew out in his last A.B. third baseman in tight protecting the bunt the first pitch ball that's out one run four hits and no errors so far for the Redbirds easy fly ball into shallow center field and he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. So now here is Mario Terrell. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. Terrell. Got it. Set and the pitch. 
inside ball. You know, because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where he's going to be working around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Fouled off. The 1-1. Hit weakly back to the mound. Going to be a tough play. Well, cleanly into first, and that ends the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Stretch time coming up here in Denver. It's the Cardinals 1 and the Rockies nothing. for Colorado in this one. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, one of the strengths of this guy is handling right-handed hitters. Right-handers coming into this game are hitting under 250 against this guy, so he's doing a lot of things right when the right-handers step into the batter's box. And now here is Mario Terrell, and we are set for baseball here this evening. First pitch on its way. Swing and a shot toward right center. But uh, this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first down. Jumped all over that first pitch of the inning, and he didn't miss it. Just wasn't able to steer it in a direction that resulted in a leadoff hit. set to get underway and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder Mario Terrell. First pitch on its way. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. A ball and a strike now. Hey, let's go, big fella. From the windup, the 1-1 one, one pitch. Yep, that ball went out. Good eye, good eye. Fastball well outside. Well, this next pitch is a big one. The last thing you want to do hey, is give a free that. pass Let's to a go. guy that can run like this. He's a real burner out there on the base paths. And he lays nope. off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. 
That is not the way he wanted to start off this half inning. It's one thing to walk the leadoff hitter, but it's even more painful when the leadoff hitter is an absolute burner and he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. Now to the plate, Chad DeLaguerre is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Little chopper back to the mound. One there. On to first, and they turn the double play. Nice job on the mound to bounce back from the leadoff walk. Those are usually pretty costly, but that won't be the case this time after the two ball. Pitch of the AB now. Mm, a little party oh, there. No balls and a strike. You have to be careful. You can't sleep on the bunt right here, even with two outs. They're playing him back. But this guy can handle the bat. A high fastball is in there. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw okay, strikes like he there. is, he's going to have a pretty good night. The windup and the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Down in order go the Cardinals. They're down 1-0. three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Nope. Lays off 1-0. and You know, nope. because this is just a one-run game, this doesn't strike me as a situation where oh, on, he's going to be working Wait, around a guy. I think he's going to challenge him right here. Two balls and no strikes no, no. to the Cardinals center fielder. Side, oh, three down. and oh now. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start yeah, giving away free there, passes. Come on, big guy. He's set. Here's the three up. And he lays off Pick ball three. four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Man, you hate to give up a two out walk to anybody, but especially to a speed demon like him. Good chance he's running here, and good luck trying to stop him. is Chad DeLaguerre, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And now they've got him in a rundown. Thought about going for second, but instead, now they've got him in a pickle. And he'll try to get back now, but it's not going to work. The throw hangs him out to dry, and that'll end the inning. So nothing happening this time around. Stretch time coming up here in Denver. The Rockies are out in front, three to two. He's out. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Jonathan Daza, runner in scoring position with Sudan. Set and the 0 1 lifted in the air to straightaway center. Terrell will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Rockies forced to settle for one. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. 
It's the Rockies four and the Cardinals two. and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. Four to two, the final score tonight. The Colorado Rockies wrote an important sixth inning to victory in this one. Joey Murray earns his fifth winner of the year. Kirby Yates hammers down the save, his 21st of the, the year. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show. Afternoon baseball for you on a fine Sunday afternoon from Coors Field in Denver. Today we wrap up this four-game weekend series between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Colorado Rockies. Major League Baseball on the show starts now. Antonio Senzatella will be on the mound for the Rocks. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy pitched well this last one, getting through seven innings in his last start. We'll see if he can turn in another quality start and pick up the win in this one also. Striding in is Mario Terrell. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Here we go now. Come on now. One time. Terrell. Give you a pitch here. Square it up. First offering on its way. Underway now in the Sunday finale as the first pitch is swung on and missed for strike one. These Rockies guys, they've had it go in the last 10 games. They're seven and three over that stretch, including a win last time out. Hey, Matty, yeah, this is time right here, Dero. You'd love to win this fourth game of the series. They drop game one. They come back and win nope. games two and three of this set. One ball, Nothing one I'd like to do more than win this series three out of four and win this one here on the finale. Yeah, Dan, they gave away the first game, but they were able to win Friday night and Saturday night. Chance to take three of four and finish the weekend off strong. And that's one of those plays that stay with you for an entire game. You want to get the first out on what appears to be a routine play, but you can't get it done. The good news, he has some time to redeem himself. Next to hit, Chad DeLaguerra. And there you see his righty-lefty splits and how they've played out so far this season. Pressure on building that lead. That's how you bury someone. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's one and zero. Oh. Hey, see it and rip it up there, kids. See it and rip it. The pitch. 
swing and a miss for strike one. One and one. Come on, big guy. You got this. Two That's balls and ball. a strike to the St. Louis leadoff hitter. Two balls, one strike. The 2 1 home. The count is three and one. Chad DeLaguerra will be next. Hey, let her fly, let her fly right here. The three and one pitch. And he nope. lays off there, ball, ball four. four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. He's really struggled with his command in this game, no doubt about it. But to make things worse, he just lost one of the fastest guys in the ballpark. Next, here is Chad DeLaguerra, grounded out in his last at-bat. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result. It's his last at-bat right here. The double play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll, too. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Chad DeLaguerra becomes the first out of the inning. Here's Nolan Arenado. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Come on, get up there, kid. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. Yeah, the pitching coach would hate to go to the bullpen this early in the game, but sometimes you have no choice. On the flip side, he might just get in his face a little bit out there, try to challenge him, wake him up from his funk. Either way, we'll see how it works. hits in the series for him through nine at bats so he's been very productive at the plate. Three two pitch grounded to the right. Oh look at All right hang on hang on stop. right There's here right here. Relay to first in time and just like that this side is retired. A couple of walks in the inning but nothing on the scoreboard. More to come on the show Sunday baseball after this. Looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The wind up and the 0 1. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Center fielder giving chase. He makes the play. Really had to hustle to get. Into the box, Mario Terrell. Mario. First pitch on the way. And here's a ball hit in the air. And it's a foul ball. Three runs, just two hits, and no errors so far for the Redbirds. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. Back at him and it hit him. He's safe. A great recovery, but he couldn't get it there in time. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. So the next to bat will be Chad DeLaguerra. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. A breaking ball swung on and missed, and he's set down for the second time this afternoon. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. It was a walk in his last trip. Now the one and one pitch. Pitch misses low. The throw down. It is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. 
That's a great call from the dugout to put the runner in motion that time. With two outs and a good hitter at the plate, it's a pretty low risk play. If he's out, you still got the same good hitter leading off the next inning. But if he's safe, he's in scoring position and a lot easier to drive in. Terrell stands at second with two gone. Hit in the air out to center field. Round hard, Springer round hard. He's scoring. Lead on it. We're scoring. And he's got it for the final out of the frame. Cards forced to settle for one. Home half of the fifth coming up. The Cardinals lead it three to nothing. This will land untouched. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Hey, love the confidence in that pitch right there. Going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Keep driving. Let's go right here. To two balls and two strikes now. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. Rolled slowly down the third baseline. Ah, beat it out. Come on, come on, come on. Is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Plate. Here is Mario Terrell. He bounced out last time up. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he even concerns himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. Takes a good swing, but this will be a foul ball. Hey, let's go, kid. One time, right here. And he checks his swing. Did he go around? Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. Looking to leave him loaded. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. Three left for St. Louis. But they hold a 5 nothing lead. up Rymel Tapia we're in the eighth now and nothing's changed out there on the mound well I've been very impressed with how the starters going about his business Matt he's looked really sharp and it's hard to know if it's had any effect but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in no runs four hits and three errors for these guys so far this afternoon Shortstop, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. Striding in for the Rockies, Gustavo Severino. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, in today's game, certainly don't get completely reprimanded for too many strikeouts, but. No one likes to go down looking. Expect him to be a little bit more aggressive at the dish this A.B. is there. Wow, not only are complete games rare in this day and age of Major League Baseball, but a complete game shutout. This guy was in total command from the first inning through the ninth. 
totally dominant in this one. Five nothing the final score today. The St. Louis Cardinals took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Zach Gallen earns his eighth victory of the season as he struck out 13 in this one. So that will wrap things up for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. No run, four hit, three errors. They left 10 men on base. Mucha, mucha, mucha sal De los que hablan con la L Que hacen todo hasta el final Un creyente borico con bomba para fincar En medio de la tormenta gozando voy a brincar Yo, llama a Selena, Orlando y a Luca Traigo palabras que nunca caduca Al enemigo le tumbe 